Hello again, viewers. I'm Paul Devork, editor of Wind Power Engineering and Development Magazine. In previous videos, we discussed how a turbine works and a few variations to the design of conventional turbines. But for this video, let's look at three unusual concepts, ideas that offer possibilities conventional designs do not. The first design in our collection comes from Chinese inventor John Yang in Shanghai, who modestly calls his design a super turbine. In this design, a pair of blades that can pitch ride on an elevated horizontal track. As the wind moves each pair of vertical blades along the track, a generator between them produces power sent to a collector. Now you might think Mr. Yan is from Texas because he's thinking big. He envisions blades a few meters long and a large track, almost the size of the Indy 500 oval. This lets it carry many blade and generator units. The track would be positioned perpendicular to a prevailing wind so the front and the back track can extract power from the wind. Yan said his goal is to drive down the cost of wind generated power with many small generating units. A few more details. Jan envisions a blade length of 23 meters with 11 meter spacing between the blade and generator sets. A 2.2 kilometer track would produce 40 megawatts in a 12 meter per second wind. Search on the word super turbine on our website for more details of this design. Our second turbine in this collection is not so much the turbine as the man, Doug Selsom. He's been a wind advocate and inventor for many years. Doug is a creative mind that lets him devise many turbine designs. What's more, he's a commercially available. The California Super Twin is a dual rotor, two kilowatt unit that works well in high winds. The 10 foot rotors face into the wind at a slight angle and the generators come in several outputs from 12 to 200 volts DC and one for running an AC grid tie converter. But why stop at two rotors? Another design puts seven, seven foot diameter, three blade rotors on a single shaft for a six kilowatt capacity. To his credit, Doug Selsom has uh, working turbines, not just attractive sketches. This brings us to our third design, my favorite idea in the three, because of its size. A dual rotor turbine called Air Genesis. This design breaks more conventional rules. For instance, it puts two 96 meter rotors, one at each end of a nacelle, and offsets their alignment by about 30 degrees, enough to let the rear rotor miss the wake of the front rotor. Also, a large right angle drive sends torque down tower by a large shaft to drive several generators at the base. The design calls for 12 generators, two 500 kilowatt units, and 10 each rated at one megawatt. The smaller ones let the turbine begin generating power in barely productive three meter per second winds. At rated speed, the design would produce up to 11 megawatts, but the company says flow simulations predict that the design could produce more. I think it'd be fun to see these large prototypes of Jan's super turbine and the Air Genesis in action. Well, that's all for now. But for more wind industry videos, dial into windpowerengineering.com. Thank you.